Hi, this is Nathan Nguyen from AMIMAC LLC. This Power Apps for Beginners is on combo box type in choice. This is a set point list where an unload action will pull into this combo box and then I added the other as an option. And if I select other, I can type in the new choice and upon change or some save or submit action, the new type in choices is on the drop down and it also add it to the product. So if you load it the next time, it will be there for selection. So let's go right to it. So this demo has just a few control. We have the unload button, the combo for the product, the text box for product other when other is specified, and then the submit button. In the unload, I simply create a collection, take the distinct values of the product column in this table, this product column in the demo data table, Note that this thing function return a result column. If you would like to sort the data, you can insert in sort by column, specify the result as the column name, and then choose your sorting order. Right now, I just use as the order we have on the list. After I pull in the data from the set point list, I added the, the asterisk and other as the choice. So the other is will be, never be part of the cell point list. It will just be added after the data is loaded. So now we go to the text box where the user specify when the other is selected. And that's what I have here. On the visible property, if the selected result of the combo box is equal asterisk other, then we display it. Otherwise, it stay hidden. And so if we choose other, on change property of the text box, I simply take the input and put the data a variable var product other. On submission, if I click and we don't specify anything, the application will tell us to specify the product. So in here, I simply put an if statement. I trim all the spaces first, and then I count the length. And so if, if the length of the new choice is zero, I display an error with the message. Otherwise, I patch the set point table, create a new record, providing the new product item, the value that we just entered. And then I refresh the set point table, click the unload button. The unload button simply requery the table. So let's go through this one more time. Load, choice one through five with other. When other is specified, six, add. Six is now part of the choice and is also part of the set point list. That's all to it. I hope you find this video helpful Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Looking forward to the next video with you. Bye-bye.